Hello there, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show how to create heat map. Heat map generally prepared to show or to visualize areas with the most point features as the hottest. In this case, in this map, you may see here, this is a hottest area. So heat map helps answer the question about your data, such as how is it distributed. Suppose in this case, in data, this is my point data, how these point data are distributed. Heat maps are more of a visual light aid than an accuracy way to show point density. They are best used in conjunction with another visualization type such as time series chart. So we can easily prepare heat map in ArcGIS. So here my point data, flat point WB. So see in properties, there is no coordinate system. This is a geographic coordinate system. So we have to convert first in positive coordinate system. So go to layer and go to properties. Here we can project it. We know it is WGS 1984 ETM zone 45. Just click over there. And now we have to export it. Again right click data and export data. So now we have to select this data frame because already I have changed this data frame geographic coordinate system to positive coordinate system. Now here I will save as a flat point UTM. So save it. Now click it OK. Yes, I want to show it. Now see, uncheck this one. This is my flat point UTM. Now in our toolbox, Actually, in ArcToolbox, there is no direct option to prepare heat map. But in ArcGIS Pro, there is an option to prepare heat map. That's why we have to use kernel density or any density tool. So, in ArcToolbox, you can find special analysis tool. Under this special analysis tool, you can find here the density. Okay. Under the density, you can use this kernel density. Okay. In, in the kernel density, you can use polyline features or input point so you should use this kernel density instead of point density right now we have to select our point data or features data this is a point data or features data our population field none and our output raster we can change the path of output raster like this we have to change this output raster like this one heat map so it is raster so we have to give extension extension is TIA now see this output cell size is optional but we can change the output cell size according to our desired cell size in my case 30 meter okay everything is okay see it's the area unit square kilometer then densities and method it should be planar because already we have converted into positive coordinate system so just click it okay now see, it's prepared a very good heat map. See, this is a heat map. Now problem is that this area, okay? We have to cut now according to our study area. This is our study area. We have to cut this study area. But problem is that in this area, see, this area is blank. So what should we do? We can easily do in arc map again kernel density. See flat point UTM just change to 30 meter now I will prepare according to study area that's the differences so heat map UD according to study area save it and here the environment now we have to change this processing extent processing extent should be here default but we have to change according to our study area it should be same as layer with the aspodistic that's been our study area and it is a raster data so we have to change this raster analysis mask as our study area in my case with the aspodistic just click it ok and ok now it will create only this study area not outside the study area see this is a beautiful heat map so uh, we can easily explain now our study area or heat map here density is very high that's mean 
uh, this point this is the most hottest point and this is the most coolest point uh, of flood that's been uh, this is the most uh, flood affected area and this is uh, this are uh, less flood affected area uh, thank you for watching this tutorial